Today's video, I'm going to show you why 6-1 is the best defense in Madden 24 Ultimate Team right now. And it's primarily due to the speed of the players and the abilities that we have access to. So we're going to show you this. This is in the Chiefs playbook. If you want to get my entire 6-1 updated defense viewbook, link is going to be down in the description below. And again, I'm going to show you today why this is such a good defense. Now for our coaching adjustments here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have our auto flip off, our auto alignment set to base, our option defense on conservative, and then really kind of up to you in terms of how you want to play your six, run your 6-1. What I like to do with this defense is 25 to 30 yard flats and five yard curl flats. And if you want to have five yard hook curls, be my guest. And you can put your zone coverage on match or default. That's up to you. I like to utilize uh, just on default. Okay. Now, what makes this defense so good is the fact that we have these super fast players right now at outside linebackers. So what you can do is you want to go through and you want to put your fast middle linebacker at the outside linebacker position. As you can see here, we put Isaiah Simmons, who has 99 speed, and then we're going to put Bo Jackson, who also has 99 speed here, and then we're going to put Chase Young, who on the Super Bowl theme team is uh, 96, 97 speed. I'm still rocking Super Bowl and Combine late in the year. I think it's the most versatile theme team, and again, I really value speed, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And then what you're going to see here is we got Warren Sapp, Carl Loftus on the outside, and then we have Leo Chanel at the outside linebacker. Now our base play and pretty much what we're going to do everything out of is to play cover four quarters. And the setup for the blitz is you're just going to globally blitz your linebackers. I like to rezone my user. That's going to give him the KO abilities. And what you're going to see is this is what the player looks like. Now, as you watch this blitz, you're going to see that we're going to get gap pressure. We're going to get a lot of disengages. We're going to get a lot of quick pressure at the opponent. And this is what makes the defense so good is the fact that this is probably the fastest blitz in the game. Now, I like to stand about right in here. As you can see right there, we get the B gap off the outside. And that's where that 99 speed comes in. 99 speed, 99 agility, really effective for this defense now if you wanted to be my guest you can go ahead and spread your linebackers sometimes that kind of helps uh the blitzing angles as you can see right here you're still going to get those disengages uh what's really cool about the defense as well is let's say that you go ahead and cubic contain and then you're going to global blitz your linebackers and what you're going to see here is when we do this you're going to rezone this guy on the right-hand side. You can put him in a purple shade outside. This is going to help him get a little bit more outside. What you're going to see is you can get this like kind of five-man super quick edge rush that's pretty effective. Again, we're only sending five here. If our opponent decides that they're going to send five out, then what we can do is we just QB contain, and then we're going to re-blitz that, that linebacker on the left. So all we're trying to do is kind of suck that angle. And then again, as you can see, that 99 speed is going to, come in really quickly this is what makes the defense so good now there's another element of the defense that i think is really underrated if you just rush the four man what i like to do is crash my defensive line inside i'm going to repurple these outside linebackers you can even go ahead and spread the linebackers and then we're going to basically create a double mabel look so as you can see here we're going to be able to do a really good job of bracketing both sidelines of the defense but we're also going to occasionally get these really nice disengages and really nice sheds over the middle of the field as well with our user kind of hanging out in the middle. Another way that you can kind of trigger the same basic concept is we're going to put those guys on the outside in the clouds, put the safeties in halves, and then we're going to drop the defensive end on the right into a hook curl, and we're going to blitz our user. And as you can see now, you can also still trigger some really good sheds even with that three-man rush. And at this point in the year, most people have lurk artists. Now, what you could also do is get Brian, the Brian Arakbo combine card, and you could put him at this right side position. This would allow uh, for a little bit, little bit quicker, uh, just in terms of a little bit better lurk artist ability. Now, another thing that really is cool about this defense is let's say we want to send six at our opponent. What we could do is maybe a defense like this where we say, OK, we're going to get a little bit aggressive. So we're just going to audible to Sam Blitz. And then all we're going to do here on the left hand side is we're just going to scissor that solo wide receiver side. And then my user is going to go use the tight end. As you can see, the pressure is going to come in super fast, even if they do go ahead and end up blocking somebody, which is what makes this defense so good. Another thing that makes six one really good is its ability and capabilities to stack different adjustments and allow for scissoring against trips tight end. A lot of people would say that this is probably the best trips defense in the game right now just because the blitz is really good. It's hard for a trip set to beat this consistently, and it's really a simple coverage. What we're going to do here on the left-hand side is we're just going to create kind of that Mabel look over here on the left, and then on the right-hand side, what I like to do is we're going to go ahead and blitz this guy, and then we're actually going to kind of create a coverage that kind of inverts like this, and what you're going to see with this is 
a lot of times you're going to be able to get really quick pressure, have the, have the whole trip side bagged up, and then you kind of have that little inverted cover two style of defense over on the tight end side. Another thing a lot of people like to do uh, from a trips tight end perspective would be basically this one of my favorite adjustments where you're going to essentially go with kind of a coverage series that looks something like what you see right here. And then this kind of allows for, again, either that invert that I was talking about previously. You could play cover two to the right-hand side here. Another thing that you could do is you could go ahead and kind of scissor that side and kind of go with an all-out man-to-man look that's really good against trip sets, especially if you have a good blitz behind the, the, uh, the coverage. All right? So that's another method to kind of defending trips. Another thing that's really underrated, in my opinion, is the safety cloud flat. So you're going to shade down and then over top and then outside. And what this is going to do, it's going to put that safety in the cloud, and then you can run a defense that looks something like this. And this is really good as well. Again, just the simpli simplicity of stacking zones and then using different scissors to create better leverage for your main coverage will take this defense to the next level. Now, one of the biggest things that you need to be prepared for when defending trips tied in is to prepare for an RPO. One of my favorite ways to do that is you can uh, either just cross man this guy onto the circle receiver, or as you can see, I can't do that. What I can do is move this guy out, man him up on the circle receiver, and then actually user this defender. I think this is one of the most underrated things to do against trips tied in because now we can send significant pressure over here on the left side as well as on the right side. So it gives us kind of different options. Uh, one of my really kind of a favorite ways to play a little bit more aggressive here would be to man this guy up here on the circle and then go ahead and blitz the linebackers. And then essentially we're going to have kind of, again, the idea of scissoring here to the right-hand side. And then we're just going to have like a half zone that's going to do a really good job against that tight end. So you see we're going to get really crazy pressure. And then we're just going to use the tight end side and take away the trip side in general. The best strategy for defending trip side in is to defend the trip side first and then work to defend the tight end side with your user. It's kind of always been true of trip side in. So even something as simple as this defense right here, I think kind of gets to that same point. As you can see, all my responsibility is here is to take the take the uh, right side corner out to the tight end, or if you wanted to leave this guy on a third, and then if the tight end's on a seam, I'd have to take it. But as you can see, we're able to get some really nice pressure with this defense. Thanks for watching the video. To get my entire 4-3 even 6-1 defensive ebook, link's going to be down in the description. For just $10, you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks by becoming a Patreon member today. So head down to the description and go check out the Patreon down below.